Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to do the app right setup for our project. First of all, we need to visit this site and here you need to sign up. Once you click on sign up, then you need to provide the name, email and password. Once you signed up successfully after that, you can sign in. Now here I have already signed in and we are getting an interface like this. From here you need to create a project. Let me give the project name as to do. After that click on next. From here you need to choose a region. You need to select this one because rest are disabled. Click on create. The project has been created successfully. Now once the project has been created after that we need to add a platform. We are creating the project for flutter application that's why I will click on this flutter and here you need to give the name. Let me give the name as to do and after that here you need to give the package name. To get the package name go to VS code expand android then app then build.gradle here in the namespace you will get the package name just copy this or in the application id as well you can copy this and paste it here after that click on next then click on next next and after that go to dashboard so your project has been created successfully now once the project has been created after that we need to create a database now before creating the database move to auth and in the auth go to settings and make sure in the auth method this email and password is enabled because in in our project we will do the authentication with the help of email and password now go to database and here you will get an option to create a database click here give the database name i am giving the database name as uh, let it be project and after that click on create now this database has been created now once the database has been created after that we need to create the collection inside the database so click on create collection and here i am giving the collection name as user click on create after that here inside this user collection we need to create some attributes so click on attributes and here we are getting the option to create the attribute click here and here the choose the data type of the attribute let it be string i'm creating the first attribute as id and let me give the size as 50 and make it required after that click on create similarly click on create attribute string let it be email let the size be 100 make it required click on create so inside the user collection actually we will store the user details like id email first name last name all these details we will store here again click here string and after that here i need to choose or i need to give the name as first name let it be 50 make it required create then last name required create then string full name let the size be 100 make it required create then again click on create attribute and uh, next we need to create string profile image let the size be 100 and make it optional so click on size is 100 and uh, click on create and that's it so id email first name last name full name and profile image that's it so this collection will store the user details right after that what i will do is that in the user collection go to setting and here we are getting the option as permission this means who will create the user details i need to assign the permission so i will click here 
and here I will click on any. This means anyone can create, read, update, delete the users. So, click on update. So, permission have, has been updated. After that, I will move to Flutter and here I need to first of all install a package. So, let me press Control Shift P add dart dependency and here I will use app write. So, this will install the app write package. Let me move to powerspec.yml and here you can see that uh, we have this app write with the version 12.0.4. Now, once the package has been installed successfully, after that inside the utils folder, I will create a file named as app write constants. Here I will create a class Now, inside this class, I will declare some variables static const. The first one is endpoint, and from where I will get the value of endpoint, let me move to operate console. Here we have settings, click on setting, and after that, here you can see this is the API endpoint. So, copy this and paste it here. Similarly, I will copy, I will change it to project ID, it will be database ID and here it will be user collection ID. Now again move to operate console, here you can see we have project ID, let me copy this and let me paste it here. Then we need the database ID. So, click on database and here you can see this is the database ID. So, copy this and paste it here and I need user collection ID as well. So, click here then user collection and here you can see this is the user collection ID. So, copy and paste it here. So, inside this apparate constant file or inside Apparate constant class, I have created all this endpoint, project ID, database ID and user collection ID such that I can use this inside my project from anywhere. Now, once we have done this, then inside the leaf folder, I will create a new folder named as data. Inside this data folder, I will create a new folder that is provider. Inside this provider, I will create a file named as appwrite provider dot dot. Now, here I need to write some code. So, here I will create a class appwrite provider and let me move to appwrite constant. Here the spelling is wrong, let it be appwrite and move to appwrite provider. Now, inside this class, first of all, I will use or I will create the object of client which is provided by appwrite. So, client this equals to client after that account which is also provided by appwrite. and database. So, I am creating the object of account and database as well. Now, how this account and database will be used that I will discuss later on. For the time being, I am just creating the objects. After that, I need to create the constructor of the class and inside this constructor, here I am using client dot set endpoint and the endpoint I will get from where? From apparate constant. So, apparate constant dot endpoint. Then I will use set 
project and from here I need to provide applied constant dot project ID and for development purpose here I need to use set site set self signed and here I will make the status as true after that create the object of account here I need to put a semicolon as well now account equals to account and it will take the object of client similarly I need to create the object of database equals to database and here I need to pass the object of client so our apparate provider class is also created so we have in the apparate console we have created the uh, user collect we have created the project we have uh, created the database we have created the user collection and for this user collection I have set the permission now inside the flutter we have installed the apparate package and after that inside the utils folder I have created the apparate constant and inside this data folder I have created the apparate provider fine that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching